What up folks, Cigar Blaze here. Today we're going to be talking about this wonderful cigar that I picked up down in New Orleans at the Cigar Factory. I was there uh, <clears throat> a couple weeks ago. My little wife and I got away for a nice little midweek vacation. Took her down there, surprised her, rented a little motel room at the La Pavillon down on Porger Street. And uh, while we were there, uh, walking on Decatur, little did I realize that there's a cigar factory in New Orleans. And at the little factory, they have a few people uh, that actually still hand roll cigars. So we're going to light this one up and uh, get, her, get her lit up and toasted, and we'll see how she smokes. Y'all stay tuned. out on me so I can get a good get a good and lit when I'm when I'm toasting it I just like to see a little red cherry all the way around so you got it lit right above where the flame stops is what I do and just let that let it roast like you're roasting a cochon de lait kind of offset the flame when you're roasting a pig you don't lay that pig right on the flame of your fire, you got them in a little in a little container, a hinged uh, screen hinged, and you have them offset of the fire, and you let them cook slow, preferably all night long. So we're gonna let this. We're gonna smoke this one for a few minutes, and we'll come back and holla at you in a few seconds. So y'all stay tuned. Now don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. All right, we're gonna try to make this video anyway out here. Would y'all hush? Get them cicadas in the background. I'm out here trying to smoke a cigar, make a video for you guys, and the cicadas are going wild. It's crazy out here. But they all just started up just a few seconds ago. I guess they know the sun's going down, and they just tearing it up out here. So anyway, this is a fine cigar from the Cigar Factory in New Orleans. It's built, I think it's built great. It's got a uh, great construction. The burn is nice and even almost all the way around. Not razor sharp, but sharp enough for me to where I don't have to fool with it or relight it just yet. Uh, I was down in New Orleans, like I said, during the uh, midweek. Uh, me and my little bride had a little getaway. And uh, we rolled down there on Decatur Street. And I picked up one cigar and was able to smoke it in the cigar factory. They have like table set up, chairs, uh, music, just banging music, uh, it's just a great atmosphere, they got a guy down there that'll shine your shoes for you, New Orleans is famous for stuff like that, give you, give you a nice little shoe shine while you sit there and smoke your cigar and wait, um, so I bought one and smoked it in the, uh, in the little factory, and I liked it so much that I bought 10 more, and if you buy 10 or 20, you get a box, and the box is really cool. It's uh, all uh, burned in here. Let me put this down here. It's got a uh, burn press label on it. This is all burn marks, the actual label. Um, the box is made in the Dominican Republic uh, for the New Orleans Cigar Factory. And you open it up, it's just a little wooden box with hinges. And it's, uh, this is what you get your cigars in. And, uh, I don't know, it's not, it's not really a humidor, but it's a nice little, maybe cedar. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's cedar, but it's a nice little box. And, uh, one thing about Louisiana, it is humid out here. But I'm enjoying this little Robusto. If you're interested 
interested in trying some of these cigars, I know you can go to their website. It's a New Orleans uh, Cigar Factory New Orleans, uh, www.cigarfactoryneworleans.com. And I go to their website and check it out. Cool little label on this one. It's got the fleur de lis. It's nice. You're probably wondering what kind of gun we're going to talk about today. Take the magazine out of this one, because uh, this is my this is my first gun that I ever purchased, my first handgun, the Glock 22, <clears throat> built tough, like a tank, and I'll show you that it's not loaded. Got the magazine out, and uh, just a superb gun. This one, I have it uh, filled with hollow points, 40 caliber hollow points. I don't remember the name brand, probably Winchester or what have you, who knows, but uh, this is what I use for home defense, and uh, it came with night sights, Trijicon night sights on it, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, this is just a fine weapon here, I'll tell you what, it was on sale at Barney's Indoor Range. And I went over there, picked it up, and yeah, super nice. So this is the gun that started it all. My buddy Dave, he's a police officer at the Lafayette City Police Department, called me up and said, hey, they got some old uh, police guns down there at Barney's. He had to go pick you up one, and I told him I was interested in getting a firearm. So uh, I jumped in my truck right away and went down there and picked one up. And this is what I got. Just, I mean, the com I got some big hands. So it's just super comfortable for me to hold. <clears throat> no problems at all. And since it has night sights on it, this is the gun that I use for home defense. Uh, it sits right there by my nightstand next to my bed. And uh, <clears throat> I'm ready. I am red K. So that's my gun that we're going to show you for today. What knife have I been carrying? Spyderco. Knock the dust off of that. Or the pecans or whatever. This is my Spyderco Paramilitary 2 in carbon fiber. Now that, if you need a good everyday carry blade, I'm not telling you to go get the carbon fiber one, but Paramilitary 2 by Spyderco is one of the best general everyday carry blades super smooth just fits in your hand like a nice set of gloves you can chuck up on it hold it down low <clears throat> i love knives and the paramilitary 2 is just a fantastic blade I hadn't been doing a lot of knife reviews on my Cajun Blaze channel because of this dang knife, man. These paramilitary two, I'm either carrying a paramilitary two or I'm carrying a Sabenza, and I'm not really rotating around like I should. Let me not forget about the cigar, that's why we're here. That's a nice one. That cigar, the ash looks like it's going to bend, so I'm going to kind of roll it around in my little <clears throat> hand of God ashtray. Y'all remember my ashtray, huh? The hand. It's like God saying, here, son, give me your ash. <laughs> I know, it sounds crazy. But it is what it is, and it's always good. So we're going to sit here, and I'm going to... Uh, continue to surf. I'm on my laptop outside in my backyard, just going through my Facebook pages, and uh, I'm going to enjoy my cigar and finish up some computer stuff. So until next time, <clears throat> y'all stay safe, smoke a lot of cigars every chance you get, and we'll holla at you later. Y'all take care now. We'll see you later. Well, we'll come back at you. It is getting quite dark out here. Um, 
maybe halfway finished with this one. The good thing I wanted to mention, and the reason I came back at you, some cigars smoke pretty quickly. They burn pretty fast. This cigar is a long smoke, I find. It's, uh, if you got time just to sit back and relax and enjoy the sunset or the evening without the cicadas bugging you in the background, you know, they're pretty all summer long, but towards the end of the summer, you get tired of hearing them things squawk all day or all night. But, the wrap came off. Anyway, to get back at it, it's just a good tasting cigar. Now, again, I'm no cigar aficionado or, or uh, I'm not here to teach you. I'm just here to have fun with my channel and smoke a few cigars. But I smoked a cigar last night. Tastes like horse shit. Tasted so bad, I had to pitch it. My son walked by me and said, Pooh, it stinks. And uh, it was one of them cheap ones I picked up at Thompson Cigar. I think it was like $1.50 or $1.60 a cigar. They send you a billion church hills for five bucks. Well, not quite. Kind of exaggerating there. But you get the picture. It's all the cigars that nobody wants. So they send you these cigars thinking, Oh, you're getting a great deal. I'm here to tell you. Not all those cheap cigars are good smokes. Now, I did smoke uh, uh, a uh, Victor Sinclair. That was pretty good. It was the Limited, and uh, it was a good run cigar. I did enjoy it. Had a Maduro wrap. I think I like the Maduro wraps better than any other wrap. But uh, anyway, get back to this cigar from the New Orleans Cigar Factory down in New Orleans. It's a fine smoke and I'm really enjoying it. I'm just out here on my laptop again, doing a little email, YouTube, Facebook, whatever else comes up on the on the screen, on the little screen here on my laptop. And I just wanted to holler back at y'all and tell y'all that I really like these and I think I'm gonna have to go down to New Orleans and pick me up some more. And while I'm there, I think I'm gonna smoke one with them. Y'all take care. If you get a chance to visit New Orleans, you better go there and check it out yourself.